Welcome! I'm Linda Hawking, archivist at the Litchfield Historical Society, and in this collection minute, I'd like to share with you the wonderful creations of Lilac Hedges, a greeting card company that operated in Litchfield, Connecticut in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. The company was founded by Ralph P. Hinchman III, who served as an aviator during World War II. Upon his return, he attended Cooper Union in New York, and he divided his time between his grandmother's and friends' apartments in New York and his parents' home in Litchfield, Connecticut. The Litchfield property, originally purchased by his grandparents, had been part of the historic Echo Farm, which was the first dairy to commercially bottle milk for distribution in New York City. After completing his studies, Ralph decided to try his hand at creating cards. His father provided financing for the business, and Hinchman learned how to operate a business. The barn became his studio and provided a home and a name for the fledgling company, whose primary business came from holiday cards. Hinchman enlisted several artists he knew from New York, including Jack Venza, Hilary Knight, Don Sheets, Harry Dunn, Henry Bowman, and others, including a young Andy Warhol, to design cards. Jack Venza, who became his co-creative director and a member of the company's board, took on the task of finding new artists. The reliance on holiday card sales created a problem for the fledgling company. Having the bulk of their income consolidated to a limited time of the year made it difficult to operate year-round. Samples had to be ready by May for the coming holiday season, so all of the previous year's earnings went toward that preparation. Adding to the challenge was competition from Hallmark and other large producers of greeting cards. It seemed that as soon as Lilac Hedges launched a new product, the larger companies were offering something similar. Valentines, invitations, and stationery were all introduced to keep the company competitive and create a steady income stream. The earliest card we know of that resembles a Valentine is one of a Cupid created by Andy Warhol. This card was one of a series, but we have only this surviving example. Years later, a portfolio of Valentine's designs was assembled, presumably as samples for retailers. It's not quite as large as the holiday sample book, and the art has changed to reflect the changing tastes of its time. We also have these fun examples of Valentine's stationery. Despite the additions, Hinchman struggled to make the business a financial success. In 1972 or 73, he sold his share of the business to his business partner, Francis McElhaney, who moved it to California, where it continued for a brief time. Following the sale of his business, Ralph traveled throughout the South, painting murals in private homes in Charleston, South Carolina, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. He occasionally held art shows in the Lilac Hedges studios. Ralph died in 2005. The Society is still working to improve our documentation of Litchfield during the 20th century. We know what we do about Lilac Hedges thanks to Ralph Hinchman's sister, Elsa Hinchman Clark, as well as artist Harry Dunn and artist and creative director Jack Venza, who shared a great deal of information with us during an oral history interview. If you have material documenting Litchfield during the 20th century that you would like to add to our collection or you would like to learn more, please contact us or visit the Donate to Our Collections page on our website. Thank you for joining us.